Yo, 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 what's good with my people? It's Mr. Lewis, and I am Rebuilding the Culture. Rebuilding the Culture. So, this episode of Rebuilding the Culture, I'm sitting here talking about family unity and why it's important. The beginning of this video was lost due to my memory chips just doing weird stuff and crashing. But basically, uh, I'm gonna be jumping into me talking about how I figured out where I was from in Sacramento. Cause you know, when you in high school, people always asking you where you from. And I really didn't know. So I had called my mom and I was just like, hey, in front of all my friends, you know, cause my dad's from LA and I used to always be saying cuz and all this because that's what he was on. I was talking with the homies one day, you know, cause everybody was talking about where they was from. So I ended up calling my mom cause I didn't know exactly where I was from in Sacramento. So I called my mom and I was like, hey mom, uh, where I'm from, and this is what she said, so check this out. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm from G Parkway then, you know, and then that's just what I started representing. Uh, and that's, that's what it was, you know what I mean? Like I was just looking for myself because my family was so separated and so gone that I just didn't know who I was. Like I didn't know where I was from, I didn't know my, my, my mom's parents, you know what I mean? I was just always trying to figure that out. Like, dang, who, who is, who, who are my grandparents? You know what I mean? Like, um, and so I was just lost, you know what I mean? I got into the church. I started um, learning the Bible, you know? Um, and like I said, I was just looking for myself. And I feel like I would not have done all that if my family was together. My mom and dad did tell me more about who I was, and you know, I just had that that uh, that structure. But yeah, as time went by, I realized that you know that wasn't me. You know, the, me being from here and there and uh, all of that stuff. Like that's not me. You know, uh, I over time, you know, you become who you are, and like I'm saying you have a better understanding and a better foundation of yourself when you have your family together. Uh, when, you, when you know who your grandparents are and what they did in their past and where they came from, and you know, that's being passed down to your parents and then your parents pass down that, that down to you, you're able to figure those things out. And uh, as you, stick around with your brothers and your sisters if you have brothers and sisters and your mom and your dad like that helps build confidence you know in yourself and reassurance of support and having that reassurance having that support helps you be successful in life you know it really does because you're not out here by yourself trying to do everything by yourself. You're not out here by yourself trying to figure out everything on your own, you know? So that's why I feel like family togetherness is important right there because, uh, you know, like I said, through my story, and I know there's a lot of people out there who have the same story uh, as me or even worse, but as you can tell, you being out there on your own and trying to figure it out all on your own own it is troublesome and it's a struggle and all of that can be uh, fixed with family togetherness and better communication and honesty and that builds trust within the people that you're around just like uh, somebody who goes out into the streets and gets into gangs and they start trusting the people who are around them because they're there for them and they're helping them with their problems, you know what I mean? But they're really not, you know, because the problem is within. It's not, oh man, this dude over here was looking at me funny or this girl over here said this about me or school or all of these other things. Like, nah, that's not the problem. The problem is that our, fan our finances are off. The problem is our health is off, our thinking is off, you know. Drugs have entered into our communities and poisoned our people's minds and 
we continue to poison other people's minds because we're poisoned, you know what I mean? And like I said, when you have more togetherness, it's hard, <clears throat> it's hard for one individual to be penetrated because if I'm out here by myself and somebody's trying to get something into me that's not of me, uh, it's going to be easier for that to happen. But if I'm out here and I got my brother, my sister, my cousin, my mom, my dad, and somebody's trying to get to me and they like, nah, I don't do that. Watch out. Get away from my son or get away from the homie or whatever it is. Like you see the difference. So we got to practice this y'all. We got to practice on having better communication with each other. Even when you frustrated, you know, you're going to be frustrated with the people around you. People are going to do, uh, dumb stuff and you're going to have to learn how to talk it out like everything can't be talked out you know some people do things that are untrustworthy some people do things that you can't take back but at the same time you have to still learn how to learn from those mistakes of that you made and the, the mistakes of others and create better relationships with better people more people other people you know so you know it's just something that we got to work on it's, it's going to be something that we have to continuously work on because it's it's been so long 30 plus years for for me you know 50 plus years for our parents and 80 plus years for our grandparents you know and then it's like now the younger generation and the younger brothers that we have the communication ain't no better Everybody got a phone in their face. Everybody's picking up information from offline. And it's like, you can't tell nobody nothing no more. You cannot tell nobody that they're doing wrong. People don't like the pressure. People don't like uh, to be held accountable for what they say and all of that type of stuff. So it's like, it's getting harder and harder. It really is. And it's only going to get harder and harder because we, not, uh, not we, but some people don't want to be responsible. They don't want to be responsible for this stuff. They want to, they want the responsibility to be the government, you know, and they're the reason why we're in this situation in the first place, but you're still relying on the government to fix things for you, to make sure that your house is right and your, your roads are right and your community is right. When they're the reason why we're in this position, they have not done that and they haven't been doing it. You know, they've done what they've done and that's why we're in this position. And lots of people are not understanding that. Well, they understand it, but they just want to continue to ignore it and do what they feel like is fun and in and, 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 and their life. You know, this is my life. This is what I want to do. And again, we're going to see where that gets you. I hope that all that fun and everything that you're doing is going to lead you to the life that you really want to live for yourself. You know, I hope you do not end up working a job you don't want to work for the rest of your life and you doing things that you don't want to do for the rest of your life just to try to have a vacation every weekend uh, to try to get away and escape the the life that you don't like and using drugs and alcohol to escape the life that you don't like for yourself you know and all of this stuff it's, it's a cycle that we've done seen and that we have lived and we gotta change it y'all you know and i'm here to make change my brothers and sisters that rock with me are here to make change, even if they haven't already made that change. You know, they're they're taking the steps to make the change or they thinking to themselves, like, I need to make this change. And they talking about they need to make that change, even if their life has not yet got there all the way, because that's part of the process. And I know there's going to be people out there that continue to judge and criticize people who are talking about making change, people who are making change, and people who are the change because they want to be stuck where they're at. And that's okay. We're better than that. You feel me? I'm Mr. Lewis, y'all. I appreciate your time. I am Rebuilding a Culture. You can get these shirts on my website, rebuildingtheculture.com. You can get some God Mode, God is Mode gear. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know, make sure you share this video out to more people who need to see it. And make sure you continue to be a change maker in your community, in your household, and in your life for the people around you. All right, peace.